I'm David Lenham at the Brentwood Bay Village in Porium with the band Beats Working and uh, David Kay, who, if you've been watching anything from Brentwood Bay uh, Emporium, the Village Emporium, we know you because you seem to be on the show uh, a lot, of, which is good, right? I've but, been around. Yeah, yeah. And then last time we had you on, we had you on solo, but now you're here with your band, or sorry, a band. With a band, Beats Working. Yeah. yeah. Could you introduce these guys? Sure, sure. Right beside me here is Bob DeWolf, who plays guitar primarily and is a great singer. And over there, hiding behind Bob, is Mark Johnson, our bass player, and another singer. And how, did you, how, how did you guys come together? How did, did, yeah. You tell a story, then I'll get these guys to tell the real okay, story. Okay, well, Bob and I have known each other for too long, probably uh, 25 years or so, and we've mm -hmm. always gotten together and played and thought, we could make something happen here, this would be fun. And uh, when we ran into Mark uh, a while back, then uh, things really started to happen, and we found a beat and it was working. So there <laughs> yeah, we are. Nice. You know? Yeah. Did you guys uh, uh, come in with your own musical influences? I mean, I've talked to to David before about his uh, blues, country, swing, kind of a, more of his solo stuff. But did you guys have different inspirations and different uh, influences? Let's say. Well, we sure did. Uh, in fact, one of my one of my jobs in in every, any band is to try and get people to play more jazzy and more swingy. Um, and uh, I've I've tormented David with that yeah, for, Bob, for years. Bob dragged me kicking and screaming into this. You know, he didn't much like it at the beginning, but but now now he's paid the penalty and he's joined us. Yeah. And, As a bass player, do you just does anybody ever ask you anything? I mean, you know how bass players get the bum rap on this. Yeah. No, they don't ask me a whole bunch, but uh, but when I do my thing. It works, I guess, because they keep me around. Yeah. <laughs> it's no, always one, good. One right? thing to say about Mark's plan mm -hmm. is he's not just a bass player. He has got a melodic thing going on, and he's also written some great instrumentals that we're doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's, it's way more than just playing bass for this guy. Absolutely. Uh, w one of the things we, we want the audience to realize that uh, it's all we're all musicians, and when we solo... Um, it's not a bass solo, for instance, if Mark's soloing, it's, uh, it, he is actually, uh, uh, well, he's up, he's up there with, with the rest of the musicians, not like the bass player who is really sort of, <laughs> you, you often, stereotypical, everyone claps, and, but, uh, but actually, uh, in, in our band, uh, we, uh, we try and vary the, vary the leads, mm -hmm. um, uh, vary the, vary our arrangements, and, uh, are you playing? Are you playing uh, some standards, some covers, some of your tunes? Have you got? Are you guys writing anything for the band? Yeah, I've some of my songs uh, that I already had were have worked for the band. I've written a couple with the band in mind, and uh, like I said, Mark has a couple of great instrumentals that we do. Uh, Bob has is just a wealth of of older standards, jazz standards, mm -hmm. and swing standards and stuff. So it's it's a big mix. You, you guys play some jump blues too, right? Mm -hmm. What what are jump blues? Like how do you Talk describe that uh, uh, jump blues as opposed to other blues? I'll give you I'll give you two words. And uh, Louis Jordan is 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 the master of the jump blues. Uh, the man who sang uh, "Ain't Nobody Here But Us," "Chicken Choo 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 oh, yeah, "Saturday yeah. Night Fish Fry," and many many. Many, mm -hmm. many, many songs. He was a huge hit in the late 40s and 50s. Um, and uh, he, you know, all about it was fun, fun, fun. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a pre precursor to rock and roll. Kind of. Yep. Yeah. Yep. What about the song you're playing for us today, Bourbon on Ice? What's uh, one of your own compositions, a, a traditional standard? I love any songs about drinking, quite frankly. <laughs> well, this song... Not that I'm <laughs> pro-drinking in any way, but I... <laughs> this song was written by a dear friend of mine, uh, David Wilkie, who now lives mm -hmm. in Dean Park over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, he uh, has a group uh, called uh, the Cowboy Celtic. And his spouse, Denise Withno, put out a record of standards... Uh, and songs that uh, Dave had penned, and one of them was this song called Bourbon on Ice, which I liked so much we thought we'd steal it. And it's destined to be a standard. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the line, eh? Yeah. Destined to be a standard, Pete's working, the song is uh, Bourbon on Ice. Living in this frozen town has been known to get me down, but I've got a certain remedy. Place where I can go, the music's loud, the lights are low, and I've got something way. 
waiting there for me. Bourbon on ice goes down so nice. There ain't nothing half as good and even twice the price. Bartender, bourbon on ice. I know a place where I can bank on someone playing Hank or Frank, Hoagie, Ella, Satchmo, Miles or Moe's. There ain't no one in this place who cares about my name or face. Politics, religion, or my clothes. Bourbon on ice goes down so nice. There ain't nothing half as good, but even twice the price. Bartender. Bourbon on ice single malt or something from the private vault to get my inner gyroscope online. Island black or Highland mash, though essential to my stash, will yield to a Kentucky blend divine. so nice There ain't nothing half as good But even twice the price Bartender Bourbon on ice Don't worry about me acting crude Being lewd or getting nude I'm saving those until another day I'll leave my troubles on the shelf and keep my problems to myself the only thing that you will hear me say bourbon on ice goes down so nice Even twice the price, bartender, bourbon on ice, bartender, give me bourbon on ice.